Nagging Kapalwak was inside her home in Kabul when she heard that the Taliban was approaching. She was once the conductor of an all-female Afghan orchestra. I had photographs with musicians and with musical instruments inside an album. I burnt all of it. I felt so awful. It felt like a lifetime of memories turned to ashes. Kapalwak and her orchestra were successful enough to perform at the Sydney Opera House and the World Economic Forum. The group, known as Zohra, played a mix of Afghan and Western music and was mainly made up of young women from a Kabul orphanage. Now the famous band is on mute. When the Taliban moved towards Kabul, everyone stayed at home. They didn't go out, especially female musicians. I'm sure that every one of them felt the same as I did, that we'll never be able to play our music again. The Taliban would destroy our instruments and burn down our school. Back in 2004, the Taliban had banned music and women from working. The current regime has addressed public concerns over its track record. We do not want them to leave the country. We want them to serve their own homeland. Women will be afforded all their rights, uh, whether it is in work or other activities, because women are a key part of society. And uh, we are guaranteeing all their rights within the limits of Islam. But these Afghan women say that so far the Taliban's actions haven't quite matched their words. And as Kapalwak reminisces about her orchestra, she still hopes that they are yet to hear their last round of applause. Kubra Akoc, TRT World.